This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time I'm going to be playing with this dumbass Phantom Spiral deck yet again, because fuck, it's really easy to record with, because I have to put zero thought into any of my play strings and play structurings. Um, hmm. I guess I'll just ghost ogre this rap here. Uh, I don't think that this is correct in any way, uh, but at least it forces out, like, barrage and shit out of his hand if he has it. Uh, but so, we're up in that area of, I'm playing against Zoo, and like, if I play this smart, this Raigeki, and the terraforming, probably gonna do some good shit. Uh, but he sent Thoroughblade to his grave, that's interesting. Hmm. Well, I've got the terraforming, which means I've got access to pacifists. Uh, I've, I've got pacifists. <laughs> well then. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this, uh, just to thin the deck and get, uh, get to that. Activate the pacifists. And then I will normal summon the Megalo Smasher, and then I will get my search for this, which will then give me access into this card, into Wave. I think Wave is just always the one I want to go for, uh, usually. Uh, but then we'll activate the Wave, and then uh, this this field spell is so important. Like I have no idea why this deck isn't playing like set rotation, um, so that you could actually get it more of it, uh, because it's it's pretty insane. But now my opponent's going to be forced to discard a card. Uh, I'm just, I'm leading this game on advantage now. Sideframe Driver? You're playing the Gamma shit too? Well, that's not going to help you against this deck. This deck's all vanillas. I'll, I'll take note of that, though. Um, you, your, your, uh, your, your nonsense is not gone unnoticed. Uh, I'm going to set Raigeki and the Strike. If he, pe if he plays Twin Twister, then goddamn, like, he's already a champion. Um, but he's already in a losing position. Because then this gets to attack next turn, and this, this just starts becoming just more of the of the spiral dragons. Like fuck. Uh, but yeah, like I said, like I have to put zero thought into this, and it makes me very very pleased that I have to put zero thought into anything that I'm doing right now. Um, so that works, and that's fun, and that's good. Uh, so he's doing this. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for him to do this, right? Because then this gets to activate, which gives me a token. And then, that token is going to give me a, uh, a proper card. Like, it's going to give me a, a proper fucking card. It's going to give me the, the one that I can use to negate effects and do all that bullshit with. Um, or I can just pop a card. Um, yeah, I'll just, I'll get this one. Uh, this, this, this is fine. Because that means I get to pop a card as soon as it pops out. Or, or, I can just strike his, uh, his Xyz stack. Like, he's not winning this game. <laughs> And it makes me sad because then that means that I have beaten Zodiac Beast with the Phantasm Spiral deck. <laughs> and I'm going to literally provide a case, an argumented case, of what. <laughs> I'm going to literally be providing an argument. For, uh, for people saying, Oh, Phantasm Spiral's a good deck, right, guys? <laughs> True Draco fucking succession. Oh, no. Well, good thing this deck can out Masterpiece. Kind of. Yeah, it can, because if he doesn't tribute a trap, I'm just going to pop him with this. <laughs> oh, no! No! God damn it. I didn't want this result. This was not the result I wanted, but this was the result that I needed. Fuck me. No. Now I'm providing to the cesspool. I am the one that is giving information that is saying that this deck can beat Zoo. Because any deck can beat any deck in theory. But I just shut him out with a very, very well-timed Ghost Ogre. He didn't have Barrage. That's actually pretty real. Um, I don't know. This Phantasm Spiral deck might actually be pretty decent against bad Zoo players uh, next format. Uh, by next format, I mean literally today, or like today, the day that I'm filming this is June 12th. So, um, like current format zoo, I guess, uh, like Draco Zoo, like people just don't really understand that they shouldn't be activating their effects, um, and that they should just go into Dryden first and then 
like destroy the pacifists. Like that's actually a thing. Is that if he could go, if he, he needed to go straight into Dryden, then pop my pacifists, and then I wouldn't have gotten my other card because that activates on a separate chain. Um, and then yeah, that would have been very very better for him at least. So there is that. Um, so hmm. I definitely think there's ways the zoo plays through this deck very easily, and I think this I think that this deck is going to take full advantage of bad zoo players that don't realize that you just go Dryden first as soon as you see these cards. Dryden first, baby. Go Dryden. Pop the field spell. Never let the field spell stay on the board. Bring the Dryden back with like uh, with like um, Shock and Nine, and then put materials under it with like Whip Tails in hand, and just you play that game. You just you just don't let them attack you, and you don't let them keep the field spell up, and it should be fine. But I don't know. I'm providing a result, and the result is that I just beat Zoo, True Draco Zoo, no less, with the Phantasm Spiral deck, and that makes me kind of, kind of agitated because now I'm providing the example, and I know that there are going to be people in the comment section of this video that are like, "No, you're discrediting this deck." Like, no, I'm not. This deck, I've played this deck enough to know that this deck is not good on a consistent basis to do well because uh, it's vanilla monsters. Uh, but anyway. I'm going to stop ranting there. Anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. And all that sort of nonsense, thanks for watching as always. Links, as always, are in the description of my Facebook and Patreon pages if you want to support the channel directly and get access to my private Discord server where me and a bunch of other people just chat on a daily basis, then definitely go check out the Patreon page and look amongst the reward tiers and see what there might be there that you would like to utilize in terms of supporting the channel and gaining things for yourself as far as resources as well. It's a fantastic way to support the channel, help some future things that I want to do for the channel and for streaming and stuff like that come into fruition a bit faster, all that sort of nonsense. But otherwise... If you like the video and want to see more content like this, then definitely thumbs up this video, smash that like button. It shows me that you like what I'm doing and want to see more of it. Other than that, if you're new here and have not been subscribed, I'd like to consider you to subscribe if you want to see more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! content in what I think is a decent, like, sort of setting. <laughs> and if you're already subscribed, then definitely consider dinging that little notification bell button. That way you can get notified when I put up new uploads and you will not miss a thing as far as content if you like the content that I do. But, other than that, as I've already said, that is it for this video. Again, thanks for watching. Again, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Thanks for your time, as usual, guys, and take care. I will see you in the next video.